Hello and welcome back again. So in this video, we're going to look at how to create this uh, simple transitions here. You can either call it a vertical, horizontal or a diagonal slide transitions here, whatever you want to call. But let's see how we can do that. Here in Kaden Live, uh, to create this solid color clip, which I have already creating it, you just simply right click, add a color clip, and then you can change the color from here, or you can simply click OK, and later on you double click on it, and you can change the color from here. Now we already have two here, so I just have to delete this, and let's bring this down to the timeline, place it on video track one, and do the same for the other one here. So the first effects to apply to this both of this clip is the corners. So let's select this uh, both of this clip together by simply holding down the shift and then do a rubber select, and then uh, go to the effects under the transform distort perspective and select corners and apply to this. Now while we are still here, we're gonna use the transform as well. So let's Let's apply the transform to both of these. So now it have to go in line like that. First, if you select one of these, you can see that corners is at the top and transform is at the bottom. This is very important. Okay, so you have to go by the corners first and then the transform effect second. And now that we have that, we want to increase the size of this little bit up. So to do that, go into the transform and in the size here, let's uh, do this for 120 for the other one. Let's select the other one as well into the transform and in the size, let's change this to 120. Now that we are done with that, let's go to the corners. Now, simply for the corners, we want to create these diagonal lines from this corner to this corner or from this corner to this corner. That is why we need the corners. So to do that, simply selecting the corner, you don't need to uh, expand this. You just have to select that. And you can see these yellow lines, border lines here, that shows that it's active. If you don't see that's this one, that means you have to activate the hide edit mode here. So you see when we deactivate it, there's no yellow lines and no corners. So you have to select it so it become active. So once we have that, now we just want to select from this corner and drag this right to the center, creating a nice straight line, something like this. Let's do the same, selecting the other clip, the purple one. So in order to do that, make sure to select the corners effect and then simply click that and drag it up like that. Okay, so the next thing is to get this clip here to come here and this other one to come out here. So to do that, we're gonna use the transform. So let's place our playhead somewhere here. So once we have that, you can see we're gonna use the transform. So these numbers on the X value is very important. So make sure to note that down. So once you finish that, writing these numbers down now it's time to move this so first let's select with the green one so uh, we can zoom out again so come here and let's zoom out like that and then in the transform in the x value we just want to drag this until uh, it comes out something like that okay so we're done with the green we can go to the purple by simply selecting the purple and uh, you can do this time go the positive way something like that okay so remember those two figures that we have written it down uh, what we can do now from here bring the playhead in the position that we want the two saves to come in and then add a keyframe and now this is the time that we type in that number so it's neg minus negative one nine two for both of them so here we have the other one coming in and then i'm going to select this other one and add a keyframe and also type in negative uh, 192 okay so we have that now uh, what we can do since you can see these little lines down here so maybe i just want to go overlap a little bit like that okay so once we have one this overlap the other one as long as it's a nice uh, diagonal lines here uh, that's it and now uh, it's like we are opening closing in and now it's time to open again for a new slide to come in so let's bring the playhead here add a keyframe there select the other one add a keyframe and then move somewhere here add another keyframe and the x value simply because this is the purple one we just want to go that way that means positive so simply type some big numbers like that so we just remove it like that and then let's do the same for the other one add a keyframe and this time we are coming in this way to the left side, so it's negative. So we just simply type a negative uh, number like that. And there we go. Okay, so this is with the diagonal. So you can do the same for this other side. To do the vertical, you don't need the corners, you only need the transform, but the same principle apply. Here's how to do it. First, let's create the color clip here. 
Let's bring this, put it here. Let's create another one and change the color to something like this and then click OK. Let's bring it down here. And then from here, let's apply only the transform. So selecting both of these by doing a rubber select and then simply drag the transform and apply to it. Uh, once we are done with that, that means we already applied a transform to both of them. You can see the name here. And then uh, what we can do, we want to have it the vertical, like coming in here, coming in here. Uh, we can simply select the X value here and uh, bring it right into the center, something like that. So we can bring this one all the way to the center by simply dragging like that until you have in the center something straight in the line there so we can see what's the value there okay so it's nine let's say negative 957 and uh, you can note this value down because again this is very important so negative 957 for the other one and then the other one let's select it and uh, do the same but this time we go to the positive so let's bring this until both of them here so positive 9 59 something like that is okay okay you can note it down so once we have this value now we can bring the playhead uh, right to the beginning like this something like that leave it here and then uh, bring this value back somewhere outside here so let's just type in for the red clip here let's just type in 2000 to bring it out like that and then select the other one just type in negative 2000 to bring it out like that and since we already written the values down where they meet at the center here we can now place the playhead and add a keyframe and then let's do the same for the other one as well and change the value back to that so this one is the other one here so let's uh that's uh the value is 959 for mine 959 that's the other one here and then let's select the other one and do the same that's uh 957 that's negative 957 and there we go so this is like kind of like a uh, vertical transitions in now again you can do the same principle on the other side so let's do the same add a keyframe here add a keyframe and then move the playhead somewhere here and then add another keyframe and then simply type in a 2000 on this side to bring it out like that and then select the other one and uh, add a keyframe and simply type in negative 2000 to bring it out like that and change the keyframe interpolation for this into smooth this other one as well into smooth and do the same for the other one as well so let's change the value of this to smooth and the value of this as well to smooth so you have the idea you can do again for the vertical for the horizontal for the horizontal you have to use the y value to do the same principle applies to it so what can we do next the next is we want to render this now sometimes we will create this over and over again but we don't want to do that we want to create one only and then use it uh, on many projects so to do this we're going to export this as an alpha clip so let's go to the render here and then in the render project the by default you should have it on generic hd for web mobile device so now let's change this to video with alpha so let's select a mov file and now let's uh, let's render the file now so our video is being done rendered so let's bring it back into Kden live okay so for now let's just delete this here and this is our video that we just brought it in we don't want the audio we only want the video so select the video icon zone here and drag it down and place it here and remove this empty space here because uh, we don't need that and let's bring this one back in and now i want to place this video because we want to have it uh, as the overlay of our videos to create the nice transitions there so let's bring this one to video track 3 both of them and here is one of our videos so just bring that back in here and uh, let's just trim this one now play this one and check so let's cut it off and then it comes back on gain so let's just place this other video under here and then it comes here we have this other one close and from here when it's open up again a new video is being shown so that's what we have for now and let's uh, bring this back in now here is the final result once you add some nice sound effects and things like that you're gonna have a nice sound uh, transitions like this
Okay, so that's how we can create this uh, very simple transitions here. It makes the video mo look more nice. Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do that. And thank you to everyone who have subscribed and see you all back again in another video.